Shrinking habitats for wildlife can sometimes cause animals to wander into areas where people live. Well, imagine if there were wildlife were polar bears. Well, that is what is happening in a city in Manitoba, Canada, where scientists say that global warming is driving some of those beautiful but potentially dangerous animals right into town. Magnificent. Captivating. Somehow even magical. To be able to see them in the wild was amazing. Churchill, Manitoba calls itself the polar bear capital of the world. It is here on this wind-blasted icy tundra that hundreds of polar bears come out of their summer-long torpor and head to the shores of Hudson Bay, waiting for the water to freeze over. They can go out onto the ice to hunt seals. But as you see from these warning signs in town, sometimes a polar bear will come right into Churchill. You're not gonna win a fight with a polar bear, are you? No, you're not gonna win, even a small one. <laughs> there's a bear right here. Wow, well, there's a couple of them here. So wayward bears who wander into town get arrested, captured and taken here to bear jail. After several days of incarceration, they are taken out, tranquilized and blindfolded in case they wake up too soon and they're airlifted away. We followed in another helicopter as this bear was carried about 40 miles north of Churchill, out into the wilderness. This bear is about uh, four or 500 pounds. He was kept in the bear jail only for about a week or so. It'll take about three hours for this uh, tranquilizer to wear off and then hopefully he'll go wandering off in another direction in search of food. Soon the bear began to wake up, licking at the snow as he groggily watched us watching him. A ranger marked his back with green dye. This way, if he shows up in Churchill again, they will know that he's a repeat offender. What's happened is we've had successive years now where the sea ice in the bay has melted much earlier. So bears are coming ashore earlier and in poorer condition, and they're coming into town getting into trouble. Jeff York is a polar bear expert, head of Arctic Species Conservation for the World Wildlife Fund which is leading research into the bear's habits and habitats, backed by a $2 million grant from Coca-Cola. York says Earth's warming climate means it is taking longer for the ice on Hudson Bay to form, and it is thawing earlier, meaning a shorter period when polar bears are out on the ice feeding. Polar bears are definitely threatened, and they're threatened by habitat loss driven by climate change. Jeff would be our guide on our polar bear expedition. We're going to get on one of these, what they call buggies, and go out into polar bear country and get hopefully up close and personal with a bunch of polar bears. On our trip to the tundra, we saw lots of polar bears. All right, we got a, about a six to eight year old female bear um, right next to our buggy. In fact, she is coming over to check us out. Look very curious. Oh, Change your mind. The bears we saw were on the move, but in no particular hurry. They're hungry because they haven't had anything to eat since coming off the ice last July. And once again this year, the ice has been late forming. So we're late getting them to their meal this year. We're late getting into their meal this year, and they were early getting off. So that window without food is growing at both ends. On our last day, the weather turned bitterly cold, far below zero, and with a fierce, numbing wind. I'm cold. I don't know about you, but the bears, no problem. No problem. This is still really warm to them. But cold enough for the ice to begin forming on Hudson Bay. We watched as some of the polar bears seemed to test the ice, and they seemed to sense, too, that soon, finally, they'll be able to hunt for food. You know, at the current rate of ice loss, it's predicted that there will be no ice forming any longer on Hudson Bay by the year 2080, so their habitat wow. would be lost. There is an effort going on now to create a kind of a permanent habitat in the northern latitudes where, there, where there's some of the 20,000 plus Arctic polar bears that exist. It would involve uh, preserving this area in the upper latitudes and it's called the last ice. This would resist uh, global warming longer. And Coca-Cola company, they are uh, putting up money uh, to support this research and effort and matching up to a million bucks. It's that image of them testing yeah, the ice. It's yeah. and you, you've looked at climate change. I mean, what is the trend line from your perspective? And no matter what's causing it, whatever it is, we know that it's warming. We know that there's mm -hmm. less ice. And without ice, it's not just bad for polar bears. The ocean has a more difficult time uh, 
getting back and eating away atmospheric carbon so our air gets worse as the ice depletes. We know that, but now there's been studies by a couple different Canadian agencies, and it's proven. Vicious cycle. And you, if you want to uh, try to help the polar bears, you can contribute uh, by going to ABC News or goodmorningamerica.com at Yahoo.